Well, so many times our technology would be tested and they would take dust at, through the back of our machine and it would just blow most of it out the front. And they'd be like, this is a horrible filter. And it's like, well, we're not a filter. Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Are you like most homeowners where you feel like the only way to tackle a dusty home is through filtration? Did you know that there's a product on the market today that can help eliminate particles out of the air and even make your filter work better. So why would you want to eliminate particles out of the air? This would make your home less dusty, smell better, and help you and your family breathe cleaner air. Today I had the opportunity to sit down with Robia Turner. He is an independent business owner with Valara, one of the largest manufacturers of air and water purification technologies in America. He is going to share with us what exactly his technology is able to do to improve your whole home indoor air quality. And make sure you stay tuned to the end because you can watch the full video where we talk about germs, viruses, and other indoor air pollutants that you might want to learn about. Let's get started. That's part of what this platform does. It gives us that opportunity to talk about particles. I think everybody's still on the filter bandwagon, which mm. is an important thing. You need filtration in your home, but it seems it's either that or ozone. And one is good and the other one is bad, right? And ozone has its place. What is it exactly that your technology does to particles that neither filtration nor ozone can do? Could you share that with us? Yeah, absolutely. And you're right. We love collaborate with any filtering type products. So if you've upgraded your central heat return filters, great. I just love seeing people that are starting to see their awareness grow and are taking proactive measurements to improve their, their home, right? It's our sanctuary. It's our oasis. What makes our technology so unique, Michael, let's let's go off the dust thing because everyone dust can relate with everyone. Well, so many times our technology would be tested and they would take dust at, through the back of our machine and it would just blow most of it out the front. They'd be like, this is a horrible filter. And it's like, well, we're not a filter. Our technology, what makes it so unique and, and why we've had such success helping people in their homes is it sends out negative and positive ionizations. It uses like a brush ionization. And it floods the home. Just like think about how lightning strikes during a thunderstorm. I always say this, you and I live in East Tennessee, but in, no matter where you're at in the United States watching this or around the world, everybody has that beautiful scenic place that in their world. And maybe it's back and forth through their work trip. And in the Smoky Mountains, when we go through, sometimes those mountains look a little hazy, but then there's some days you come through and it looks crystal clear. And it typically follows after a thunderstorm. As much as our developers would like to take credit, we're just kind of mimicking what happens during a thunderstorm. Positive, negative ionizations, removing particulate matter. We do that in a person's home or business. Instead of the particulate having to come to our purifier like a filter would, we go out and give 50 square feet up to 3,500 square feet for one unit. And we remove all that particulate. So in my home, if the dust was over there in the back corner, it would settle it out of the breathing space. Cincinnati University did a study for us, Michael, that shows that with our technology in a home that we're going to speed up that natural process of gravity by 200% out of the breathing space. Hey there, Michael Church, founder of Crawl Space Ninja. Do you have a crawl space or a basement or perhaps your home is suffering from some type of indoor air quality issue? I want to encourage you to check out my book, Crawl Space Repair Myths Busted, available on Amazon. This is a great book for any homeowner that is concerned about indoor air quality, mold, moisture, whether you're on a crawl space or a basement or a slab built house this is a great book great information i encourage you to check it out again the name of the book is crawl space repair myths busted now available on amazon the number one thing is that it's an active technology it's not passive we don't need the particulates the bacteria viruses to come to ours we're actually sending a solution out a safe healthy into the home the business environment removing particulate matters and doing some amazing things on in the air and on surfaces for the homeowner or the end user. If I can kind of summarize what you're saying, your technology throws out these positive and negative ions. It, it takes a particle. It doesn't care how small or how large the particle is. It basically causes those particles to clump together. And this, from what I understand, does two things. Number one, like you said, it drops it out of the breathing zone. So it makes it heavy enough so that it cannot stay airborne for as long. To, would you say 200% faster yeah. in some cases? Right. right. The other thing it does is it makes the particle large enough to be captured by a filter. And that's that's very important because most people don't understand that filtration is limited on how large the particle is. For example, HEPA can only capture 99.97% germs, 
viruses, things like that cannot be captured from what I understand by those types of filters. So it'll take a germ, it'll take a virus, it'll take a dust mite, it'll take a mold spore, and it kind of throws them together. Is that correct? That is correct. And the power of the added layer, because that's only one third of what our products do, the added layer is active pure is our proprietary technology that's so effective. We just had a study, Michael, that just came out. It was a, a Louisiana and a Kentucky-based hospital, put our technology in there. And for those 24 months, had a reduction of over 70% of all hospital acquired infections. And the American Medical Journal posted that. But what's amazing about that is not only is removing the particulate matter, but it is actually deactivating those viruses or bacteria, even while they're in the air. It's exactly what you're saying. We're capturing it. We're making what technologies you may currently have in the home or business more effective, but we're allowing you to collect it. But even before it hits the ground, we're deactivating and neutralizing a majority of those pathogens, bacteria, viruses, and then also removing all the particulate, which is why we have so many positive testimonies about allergies or asthma. All the different things, something triggers, right? And the more triggers we can remove, the better and healthier a space can be for a homeowner or a business owner, wherever our products are at. Well, and I would think a side benefit of everything you just described is also you're making the environment smell better because the only reason why a skunk stinks when you're driving down the road is because particles of the skunk made it into your car, right? I mean, that, that's really what happens. It's either it's either their spray or their body parts. Something's coming into your car, right? So if you can drop all those particles out of this part of your breathing zone, it should help to control odors as well, right? Now, there are some technologies out there that destroy odors like ozone, but getting those odorous materials out of that breathing zone certainly does have a benefit. Well, Michael, you, you bring up a, a, a cherished memory because before I got introduced to this company and started working with them, this particular type product or learning about indoor air quality. I was an adult, but my father fell on some tough times, had him move in, and he was a smoker. This may resonate with you if you're watching this. I was concerned about the smell. I wanted a good smell. What does a clean home smell like? So I had Febreze's and Glade plugins and candles and all these things that I didn't realize how much more they were putting out, more particulates. Like you said, the skunk smell, it's something in the air, a particulate in the air, and we're breathing that. And so a lot of homeowners, we try to show that our technologies are a lot of good indoor air quality solutions are going to get rid of good or bad smells, right? Because we want to get that out of the breathing space. A smell is something uh, that you're breathing into the body, which is, it's a very good visual you just did with the skunk, Michael. 